That's what she said! <laughs> Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome back to the EP3 Civic Truck Build! Yeah, now today we're going to be tackling some aero on the rear. Yeah, more specifically, actually probably better if we explain. Welcome to underneath the Civic. Yeah. Right, so today's going to be about aero. As you can see, we've got what looks like a diffuser here, but don't be fooled. Oh, <laughs> it's, no. it's the actually quite the opposite. Yeah, of it's... Uh, right, the problem again is this parachuting. Now, this car used to easily... Sorry. What's parachuting for those that don't right, know? Right, parachuting basically means it's catching all the air and slowing the car down. Now, these things are not known for torque, as everyone knows. <laughs> so, we need help so <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, the problem is, obviously, the, un the rear of the bumper scoops down and it's catching all the air. So, as you can imagine, guys, your air is coming very quickly down here and then it's getting stuck under there and creating what's there's known as a parachute effect. Yeah, there's no way for the air to be basically dispersed. Yeah. So, this car used to easily do over 145 miles an hour. Now, it struggles around the 130 mark. On track. Yes, of In course, Mexico. obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, what we're going to try and do is design something under here and here just to basically Slide deflect out. the air as much as possible and we're also going to drill some speed holes for any excess air that does yes. get into so, it. Yes, so rather than having a party up there, the air's got somewhere to vacate. Yeah, ah, look at that! Sun is shining. What the hell's that stuff? Have we got the air? What's that <laughs> big thing in the sky? <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to this. It's going to be a lot of cutting and a lot of measuring. But yeah, yeah, we got some uh, material for templating. I uh, got some aluminium sheet, and fingers crossed it'll all come to plan. Sheet. Sheet. There's mo. <sighs> Again. <laughs> with, yeah. with, most, with most jobs, anything sort of fabricating, cardboard is your friend. So we're starting yeah. off with a big bit of cardboard. Yeah, I'm going to cut quite a bit off this. It's quite cosy actually. <laughs> uh, and then obviously just start the mocking, because the great thing is with cardboard, it's very pliable, you can move it about and it's very easy to cut. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, we want to be trying to do this right the first time rather than... I don't want to be doing this metal. again. No, I don't either. laying on the floor. And then whatever you don't need... <laughs> No, I'm just, just kidding, we need that. <laughs> so Kenny's thinking of the moment, basically to get it to sort of come from here. And you're thinking about using the yeah. anti-roll bar? Yeah, I use the, the anti-roll bar bottom mounts. What I was thinking of doing though, is if I get some L brackets, cut a line through them, um, basically, so that it will slide straight onto that anti-roll bar. So we don't have to take them out. All we have to do oh, is I take them out, so it'll slide up into it. Ah. Genius. Yeah, because they didn't look nice to come out. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that sounds good. So yeah, we're going to squirt now before we do, but good yeah. Good shout. That's yeah. the idea. <laughs> Thought I'd give you guys another little sneak peek of what's going on in here. <laughs> right, so we've now got the... <laughs> <laughs> Where we need to yes, we are working. line it, yes. Excuse the mess, so... I am literally working on the Civic, the Mondeo, the bike, and I just got crap everywhere. And then Drew comes in, yeah, it's all this camera stuff everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a template we were working with on the car. So you, Kenny's basically taken measurements from basically where you want. If yeah. if anyone's following this as an instructional guide, I mean, we're not professionals no, by any means, but... This bumper's different, a lot different to anyone oh, else's. Yes, if really. I had the original bumper, I'd have just cut it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I'd have just done a bumper cut, but... <laughs> Probably bought him this one so he feels bad, so he has to run it. <laughs> it's me trying to slow his car down. <laughs> I know, uh, it was your plan all along, sucker! So templates cut. What a, one piece of advice I would give you, from my non-professional opinion, is just measure, 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 and just keep double checking every sort of step to make sure you haven't gone wrong anywhere. See, that's bang on there. Yeah, that's pretty good there. That we good may there. come um, in if I want to on here. I can always yeah. trim that back anyway, so we're not too concerned about that. It almost looks like we know what we're doing. I know. All right. No, that's cool. Right, now get a duct tape. This is just <laughs> no, now, as most of you may guess, cardboard probably won't last too long, especially in this Welsh weather we usually yeah, have. Yeah, I wouldn't so... recommend using cardboard <laughs> anyway, even if it was sunny. That's true. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going with here is aluminum. Aluminum. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yes, it is. So, that's nice. pretty that's thick. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a mil, maybe <laughs> no two problem. mil. <laughs> yeah, so, mil, again, but, usual yeah. stuff. Got your cardboard cut out here. That's why I love using cardboard. You can manipulate it however you want. And it's literally a case of tracing it, tri uh, cutting it. I'm fitting it! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we got that. No, but I'm the idiot, apparently. <laughs> Them things off uh, egg Easter Island. Yeah, it's off Easter Island, isn't it? It's like them stones that stick out That's, of the ground. Yeah, those. thank you. <laughs> as soon as this piece fell off, I was like, oh, what's that? You knew exactly <laughs> yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. You see that? It looks like furb off in here, some furb. But I think the stone thing's yeah, more I don't like know what it. that is. <laughs> uh, we know no civic build videos complete without Bruce. Sorry, yeah, he's. he's yeah. <laughs> I think we've interrupted him. Now, can we get a hello? No. Maybe camera shines. Oh, yeah, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> So the template's cut and what we were saying, uh, we've marked it with the bolts there so they're going to be your holes to drill to mount the L plates. The L plates, yep. Yeah. And that way then, yeah, they're going to fix, the, as we said, the Andy roll bar. Yep. And um, we're basically just going to nut and bolt the front part. Yeah. So if you put three across the front. The thing I love about this is like, this is our philosophy. When you're doing stuff like this, just keep it simple. <sighs> this is literally, even if you wanted to remove it, it's a case yeah. of nut and bolt and L brackets. So. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it'll be functional. It will, it will be, be functional. functional. Now I spoke to Sean at Auto Performance Garage the other day and he he's just said, wicked flat floor, exactly. Right? <laughs> he and he just said, about. basically, I was like, oh, if I could try and get the shape. And then he went, look, don't overcomplicate it. Yes. You'd be surprised how much that will do. Hmm. So, because obviously it's the main part. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, like I said, we'll we'll compensate the rest of it with some speed holes. Yeah, boy. Which will also look more race car. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Here it is. That is our basically false floor. Yeah. So, how cool is that? Simple. <laughs> Now it's obviously vital anytime you cut bare metal like that or anything really. File it down because you will pay for it otherwise. All right, first little mock up. Oh. Come over to me a little bit. There. Okay, that's pretty good there. I'm gonna mark that one up now. Just let him have his. Uh, he always has his little conversations with himself. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I thought it was on my own. <laughs> Who are you? I was going through some comments yesterday and just replying to people and I've noticed we've had some really really positive I don't know if you've noticed we've had some really positive feedback from uh, the Civic build now 95% of the comments and stuff we get are positive but I just want to say a massive thank you to those who have stuck with us through the Civic build and made it to this point I know a lot of you guys are loving it and I said from the very beginning I said to Kenny when he bought it EP3s have been done to death, so it's really hard to make these things different. But I think your guy, you guys would agree that some, of the, it. <laughs> some of the ideas that you've come up with on this car and how before he even bought it, you he had a vision. Yeah. And so I said to you the other day, your vision come in here, and I do genuinely not just saying it because I'm part of the channel <laughs> as well. But I really think we're doing a good job of making this unique. Yeah, well, this is the thing, and we wanted it known as the Accelerate EB3, yeah. and I know it says Accelerate EB3, yeah. but Accelerate all over it. But yeah, I really think it's starting to become what I envisioned at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, I just yes. wanted to say a massive like the response we've had from this has been great. So yes, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. Do you know why we do that? Pilot holes. Yes. Ish. Stops the drill walking everywhere. Yeah. Stops it going. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tip for you guys. Um, <clears throat> Oh, my brain's gone. Center Basically, a, yeah, center punch. I was gonna say a hole punch is not. No. So whenever you're drilling a hole, if you stop the drill piece going, whoa. Yeah, yeah. it's just hard to get it started. Get it started. Yeah. Like the black Let's get punch, it started. <laughs> <laughs> the rear, we are obviously nut and bolting, like we said. Yeah. And the front is gonna be held on with the L brackets and what we're gonna do now is basically cut a groove just in there. Yeah, I don't know whether to come back a little bit more first, though. I don't know whether to chop it back a bit and then cut the groove there because I don't want it too low. That makes sense? Yes, that's true. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I got some spray brackets. <laughs> Right, so when we say cutting a groove, we probably should have explained that though. Yeah, obviously what I wanted to do is bolt to the... <laughs> yeah. Technical term, yeah. Yeah, you know. And then, yeah, we're going to do that bolt uh, from the anti-roll bar and then slide that up as much as we want. Up so we've got down. adjustability as well. Exactly. Yeah. We'll show you when, when it's on the car properly, but yeah. Wow. Shiny. Let's see if Kenny's theory works. So this is what we were trying to explain. The grooves in the brackets there should. We back these bolts off a little bit, so that should. Oh, look at that. That was cool quite satisfying. That? Yeah. I think I just tighten them up. Um, oh yeah. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure. Check back in a minute. So this is sort of the final prototype. We've 
mocked it up and it seems seems like it's gonna work. Yeah, it does. So we've got your tabs here that are gonna bolt onto the rear anti-roll bar DE bush mounts. Yep. Um, We're yeah. gonna chop these down a little bit just to make access a little bit easier. Yeah. Uh, Bolts there, we've yep. drilled the holes into the rear bumper, so now we're going to give it a quick lick of paint <laughs> and then see what it looks like. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully mount it. Oh no, we've got to get the bumper off. We've got to get the bumper off and do some speed holes. Because to complement these, we are going to do some speed holes. Is we do like our speed holes. I yeah, noticed. we do. I'm going to try and do them around here. Yeah. And maybe another one here just to give it a little bit more. Yeah, we we want, don't want a parachute no more. No. For, yeah, for any people doubting the whole parachuting effect, um, this it almost ripped the bumper off, didn't it? Well, it did. The two, bottom two, when I picked it up, weren't done up. So it actually, if you look under here, it pulled the whole bumper forward and it was over the exhaust. Yeah, hence why we got a little burn burn there. I wasn't speeding at the time, so I don't know what we've done here. I've done about 70. <laughs> It's that cold, I almost forgot we were filming. But anyway, <laughs> so the... What are we calling that? <laughs> Flat flow diffuser thingy? Yeah, yeah. That's done, we've put a lick of black paint on there. So next up is the speed holes. <laughs> Right, for those that haven't seen the bumper hole video, <laughs> do you want to uh, explain your logic? Because this is a mad scientist stuff. <clears throat> right, okay, so we've got a three inch hole, but yep. saw hole bore kit. Um, I've measured from here to here, which is 12 inches. Yep. So obviously divided by three is four inch. So we draw each line, then you go half inch either side, so there's an inch in between there and there. Hence the little dots. So yeah. that way then you go half inch between each hole. That's what makes it uniform. So I've seen way too many people, people just, whack holes in just them and go boom, like, boom. And yeah, they just really don't line up and it drives me nuts. Yes. So do it yeah. once, do it properly. Well. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a mess job, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's <laughs> Glad we're doing this plastic. outside. Hmm. It's, uh, yeah, this isn't fiberglass, this is plastic. Yeah. And you can tell by the quality is so good. But we need to get another sticker printed. Yeah, basically, quality. yeah, we need to resize the sticker. So, yeah, yeah it's not gone. It will be going back on as soon yes. as possible. But I think. Okay, you wasn't sure whether this would go two or three. I think the three just is. Yeah, yeah I think it looks, it looks a lot better. Yes. Definitely. For all our non Welsh viewers, I don't know where you get the stereotype from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're too early, we haven't finished yet. <laughs> come, come back later. Yeah. Right, bumpers back on with the speed holes, and apart from looking naked without that TGR sticker, so... Yeah. <laughs> I think that looks awesome, and I think we made the right choice with having the three either side. We do like our speed holes, and now... This is the moment of truth, seeing if the actual diffuser goes on as we planned. <laughs> right, so you know, it's all on. Stuff, so yeah, I'm just trying to work and make sure it's... Which is funny because if you look at it like that, it looks exactly the same. But, Ooh. voila. We couldn't record the installation because it was so fiddly just getting my little girly hands in it. So it does pay to have girly hands sometimes. <laughs> and if you just look at there, it just looks like a piece of metal. But this will be... It will work. Flan Chanel! Exactly. So yeah, it just basically yeah, directs it away from the main part. Not no. the parts are Sorry, but no. to actually go into the bumper, speed all should manage that. To say, for anyone who's going to say, when we know this isn't going to be a hundred percent no down for blah, blah, blah. this is just to sort of alleviate it as much as we can because we could feel the parachuting effect, especially the fact now you've effectively hard mounted this floppy part. True. Yeah. So that's another benefit. Yeah, it's a lot more sturdy than bloody hell. It, look yeah, that. look at that. <laughs> See, that's genuinely everything now is solid. Yeah. So. Yeah. I would say that is a result. Is, Mission successful. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's cool. And for what anyone wondering why I'm freezing, I'm not the best with the cold. But as you can see, there's still freaking <laughs> snow everywhere. It is that cold out here. No, no, he's just not much of a girl. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'd say that's that's awesome for now. That's again no, another one of your visions has finally come to fruition. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, it's not something I thought we'd have had to do. But yes. Yeah. Adapt have... and overcome. Exactly, and all that funky yeah. stuff. We've never done it before. This is a first for us. So yeah. I'd say result. Yeah. Um, this is inspiring me now to. Uh, once I get the MX-5 back, because I'm looking at diffusers and stuff, making my own diffuser for mine. Cool, I'm going to get the hell out of this cold because it's freezing. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Them things off uh, egg Easter Island. Yeah, it's off Easter Island, isn't it? It's like them stones that stick out of the ground. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>